Racing and video games go together like a hand and a glove. All the high-octane action of Formula One, Rally or NASCAR, all from the comfort of your living room and without the risk of wiping out on a corner and bursting into flames, sounds perfect. That being said, not everybody wants to get behind the wheel of a car and burn rubber against a set of opponents. Sometimes people just want to sit down and drive. If this is you, well, then listen up, because these games will be right up your street. For this list, we're examining titles that are themed around driving, but not racing. Whilst some of them do have minor racing mechanics or one-off levels in them, they are not the main focus of the experience. Also, don't expect to see any Grand Theft Auto titles here, as they've become so big by this point that to label them as simply driving games would be completely absurd, so get it out of your heads! Fasten your seatbelts, check your glove compartments, and put on Classic FM. It's time for a leisurely Sunday jaunt. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 driving games with no racing. Number 10. Zombie Driver Developed and published by Exor Games, Zombie Driver was initially released back in 2009 as an Ugh, ugh, a mobile game? Disgusting! Quickly, spin around three times and touch your toes so you don't get the cooties. Thankfully, though, the title later got released for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Switch, and the Ouya. Hey, remember that one? Set against the backdrop of a disastrous chemical spill that has transformed the locals into brain-munching monsties, the player's job in Zombie Driver is to drive around the city, rescuing locals, smashing up scenery, and sending those undead suckers back to where they belong. The console versions of the game boast a story mode with several missions, plus the chance for players to upgrade their vehicle and weapons to fend off increasing hordes of reanimated corpses. There is also a mode called Blood Race, where competitors can shoot each other as well as overtake, but that is a relatively small part of this violent joy riding simulator. If you've ever driven around a city and gotten so angry at pedestrians that you wished you could mow them down without consequence, then this might be the game for you. Also, you should probably go to some anger management classes. Number 9. Rogue Trip Vacation 2012 the Mayans famously predicted that the world would end in 2012, but they were, thankfully, off the money. Although Twilight Breaking Dawn 2 did come out in 2012, which was sort of like the apocalypse, I suppose. Another group who had predicted the downfall of society in that year were developers Single Track, whose game Rogue Trip Vacation 2012 was released in 1998 for the PlayStation. In the wake of a world-ending event, only the wealthy can afford to take holidays to the ruined remnants of the United States, leading to a bustling trade in weaponized taxis. If you thought getting an Uber was bad, just wait till you see this. <laughs> <laughs> Players are members of the Amalgamated Association of Auto Mercenaries, or AAA, and must collect all of the big fares whilst simultaneously fending off the competition by any means necessary. Think of this as Crazy Taxi but with more guns and fewer KFC product placements. Rogue Trip made good on its stellar promise, getting strong reviews across the board as players jumped at the chance to live out their dystopian driving fantasies. Oh, and by the way, keep your eyes peeled for single track. I get the feeling we'll be seeing them again later on. Number 8. SnowRunner In 2017, Saber Interactive, a company known for developing ports of stellar titles such as The Witcher 3, The Halo series, and Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn, released MudRunner, an off-road simulation game based on a previous title called Spin Tires. Then, in 2020, they released a similar game, only now the ground was white instead of brown. Ooh! Set in an open-world environment, SnowRunner tasks prospective drivers with braving dangerous environments like floods and avalanches, delivering vital cargo to those affected. With over 60 vehicles to choose from, enthusiasts can finally get their hands on such legendary big rigs as the Ford CLT 9000, the International Transtar 4070A, the Caterpillar CT860, and the Caterpillar CT861. Truly, this is what dreams are made of. <gasps> if that isn't enough, then they can also take control of jeeps, land rovers, cranes, tractors, and plenty of other things that have big wheels and are terrible for the environment. Maybe don't play this around that cousin who works for Greenpeace. You know what happened last time. With strong visuals, well-balanced controls, and enough variety to keep you coming back for more, SnowRunner is a recipe for a trucking good time. Number 7. My Summer Car there's absolutely zero chance of any racing at the start of this Finnish game, as when you boot it up, your car is in a million pieces. The story of My Summer Car, developed by a small team called Amis Tech Games, is that the teenage protagonist has the house to himself whilst his family are on holiday without him. 
Hopefully this was agreed upon beforehand rather than a horrible Home Alone type situation. We don't actually know. In order to fulfill his summer dreams, the lad must build and upgrade his own killer ride so that he can cruise for girls, drive to the beach, go back and forth from choir practice and all the other cool things teenagers do. I wouldn't know. My summer car is intended to be as realistic as possible, offering the player no instructions on how to build their motor, only letting them know they've made a mistake when something goes wrong on the road. In addition to this, players must also take care of their character's basic needs, such as eating, sleeping, and going to the toilet. I think we can comfortably say that this is the only driving game in the world with a POV shot like this in it. Number 6. Rigs of Rods this entry was going to go to BeamNG.Drive, a PC driving simulation with increased focus on accurate physics. Unfortunately, there are racing elements to that game, but we were able to sneak in its older sibling with no such qualms. Rigs of Rods, released 10 years prior to Beam, was what started the obsession with ultra-accurate portrayals of driving. Released on Windows and Linux, Rigs allowed wannabe engineers to build cars and then test them out, often with horrific consequences if they got something wrong. Due to its soft-body physics engine, this title displays accurate vehicle deformation upon collision, allowing players' creations to be bent completely out of shape should they drive them directly into a wall or something. To be fair, this is a lot more akin to real life than other racing games where cars can literally explode and the main character can still be home in time for tea. Rigs of Rods was heavily praised for its realism and set the stage for BeamNG to come along in a decade's time. So here's to the next game, where things will be so accurate you'll have to pay road tax before you can start playing. What fun. Number 5. Pyongyang Racer North Korea is known for many things, things that our lawyers have instructed us not to mention, but one of them is definitely not video game development. Travel providers Koryo Tours approached North Korean developers Nosotech to make them a browser game that would make the country seem more appealing to tourists. How did they do this? By building them a game where players drive around the capital city, unable to leave their vehicle or deviate from their assigned route. If that doesn't scream holiday fun, then I don't know what does. Despite its title, Pyongyang Racer has nothing even close to racing in it. If you steer onto the wrong side of the road, you get pulled over by traffic police, and if you collide with stationary vehicles three times, the whole thing resets. You even have to fill the car up with petrol as you go. What sort of holiday is this? Players guide their Brilliance BS4, a car manufactured in, you guessed it, North Korea, to eight preset locations collecting stamps as they go. And that's it. That's the whole thing. No wonder tourism in the country is down. Well, you know. That and other reasons. Number 4. Mad Max Rather than focusing on one particular film, the 2015 Mad Max game instead draws inspiration from the entire post-apocalyptic franchise, depicting the wasteland adventures of, uh, uh, what was his name? You know, the mad fella, the guy from the, uh, that Trevor, that's him, that's the guy. Developed by Just Cause Bigwig's Avalanche Studios and published by Warner Brothers, Mad Max sees the wilderness survivor attempt to build the ultimate car, the magnum opus, in order to reach the mythical Plains of Silence. To do this, he must overcome the villainous Scabarus Scrotus, a name I'm not entirely sure we're allowed to say on YouTube. Well, we've done it now, never mind. Anyone who has played this game will be screaming at us right now as there is one race in the story. However, it plays such a minor part in what is largely a vehicular combat experience that to disqualify it from this list would be incredibly petty, even for us. The main focus is instead on building the car, exploring the world, and shooting the bejesus out of anyone who gets in your way. In true Mad Max fashion, a majority of the action takes place inside a vehicle, making this one to avoid if you suffer from any sort of motion sickness. Number 3. The Truck Simulator Series American Truck Simulator, UK Truck Simulator, German Truck Simulator, these titles are all fairly self-explanatory. Can I skip this one? No? Okay, fine, alright. The first game in this series from SCS Software entitled Euro Truck Simulator was published in 2008, sparking a surge of interest in driving jacked up vans long distances. Also known as Big Rig Europe if you want to get North American about this, this game is extremely true to life, making players obey street signs, stop for fuel, and ensure that their precious cargo arrives unscathed. You aren't encouraged to sit directly behind drivers on the motorway or overtake each other in high winds though, so I suppose it's not that realistic. The success of Euro Truck spawned several spin-offs and a direct sequel in 2013. Players were taken by the game's realistic graphics and calming atmosphere, and you could just sit behind the wheel and blow your troubles away from a single horn blast. If you're a fan of games where things actually happen, then Truck Sim probably isn't for you. But if you've ever wanted to work in haulage and can't stomach dodgy service station pasties, then you might be the series' target audience. Number 2. Driver 
To the surprise of no one, Driver is a driving game where you do a lot of driving. Given the US subtitle, You Are The Wheel Man, presumably so people don't think they'd just be sat there watching someone else have all the fun, Driver was released on PlayStation in 1999 and follows the adventures of John Tanner, an undercover cop who joins a criminal gang to take it down from the inside. The game is set across four different American cities as well as our very own Newcastle if you use a special cheat code, and puts players behind the wheel of various automobiles as they pursue baddies through the streets in true movie car chase style. In fact, the game drew comparisons upon release to getaway crime movie The Driver, although that might just be because they basically have the same name. Tanner is a former race driver, so you're in good hands as you fling taxis and sports cars around bends at impossible speeds. Driver was so popular that it spawned an entire franchise, with the most recent installment coming in 2011. Although the less said about Driver Renegade 3D, the better. Number 1. Twisted Metal Hello, single track. So good of you to join us again. Would you like a biscuit? The studio's most famous series and the most famous vehicular combat franchise in gaming history is easily Twisted Metal, with the first game in the series being released for PlayStation in 1995. Turns out, if you want a good demolition derby game, then Sony are your best bets. Set on December the 24th, 2005, which technically makes this a Christmas game, Twisted Metal enters players into a tournament where demonic drivers ride around in modified cars in the hopes of being the last person left standing. Aside from its extremely fun gameplay, the title also introduced players to a host of memorable characters, including Mr. Grimm, Spectre, and of course, Samoa Joe. I mean, Krusty the Clown. I mean, Sweet Tooth. What? This roster is so deep and rich that an entire TV show got made based on the property in 2023, which might have been the best video game show of the year had a certain other series not come along. Curse you, Pedro. Do watch Twisted Metal, by the way. It's surprisingly fun. Twisted Metal is the game from which all future vehicular combat titles took inspiration, and when you've been copied by as many people as this game has over the years, you know you've done something right. 